Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. If this is your first time visiting me here, hi, I'm so glad that you are joining me. So for today's video, I've been really, really excited to film it. So I have a huge fall clothing haul to share with you guys. So since I have so much stuff sitting around me here, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, I have the most from Marshall. So I think I'm gonna save that for last since I think it is the most exciting. So first I'm gonna go ahead and start off with American Eagle just because I only have one thing from them. Um, I bought these a little while back, but they're just these really, really cute plaid um, jeans. They're like a really stretchy jegging material and they are super high rise. I think they come in like a black and red color as well. So those are super cute, but I just love this color. So I decided to get them in this shade and I really wanted a short length, but I did get them in a regular length. They do come in short and long and extra long and I believe extra short too if you need that but they didn't have any of the short in store and I really wanted them so I just got the regular length um but yeah I really love these pants I can't wait to wear them with like a black sweater and some cute black boots or something along those lines and I think they are super adorable I will also insert a clip for all of the clothes when I try them on too so you guys can see them on as well oh also um I'll tell you the price too just in case you guys want to know um, and I'll link all of the products down below in the description box too, in case you want to shop them, if I can find them. Because I think some of the stuff at Marshall's I might not be able to find online. I know Marshall's just opened an online store, which is really exciting, but I don't know if they have the stuff that I bought necessarily. Um, regardless, I'll tag either similar things or the exact products if I can find them. But anyways, these pants were $49.95. Okay, so I'm actually going to go into candles next. I only have two to share with you, so we won't take too long doing these because I know probably all of you are wanting to see the clothes. Um, I know I would be. But these candles are actually from a candle company that is like in the Pittsburgh area, I think. The, the company is called Sugar Creek Candle Company. I believe you can get them online if you just search Sugar Creek Candle Company. And they do ship, I believe. I don't know like how far they ship, so if you're not from like the Pittsburgh-ish area. I don't know if they'll ship to you. They might be available on Amazon and I think they're available on Amazon, but I'm not positive. I will link what I can find down below, but their candles are amazing. I love them so much. I actually bought three, but one of them I don't have with me here. So um, that one was apple pumpkin, I believe. And I really, really, really love the smell of that. Especially I love apple in the fall, but this one is Christmas cookie and they have a bunch of different sizes of their candles too. Um, I got the 16 ounce one and it says it burns for 100 hours and the lady there said that this was the best bang for your buck so I bought it. I don't know if it's true or not um, but this one smells really good. It just smells like Christmas cookies obviously and then let's see. I so I said I have the apple pumpkin one too but I don't have that one with me. It smells really good though. I would recommend it and then this one is my absolute favorite candle of all time. If they gave me an endless supply of this candle, I think I would be the happiest person on this earth because I absolutely love this candle so much. It's called Waffles in that. And if you don't know what the N apostrophe AT is, it's just something that a lot of Pittsburghers say. It smells like, like, mm, it just smells like a syrupy breakfast, but not in a gross way. Cause I know syrup can sometimes be like overpowering, but this just smells so good and so delicious and I love it so much. Okay, so now that the candles are done, it's time to get into all of the fun fall clothes that I got from Marshalls. So I'm just gonna start off, I'm gonna go in chronological order of when I bought things. That sounds like the best plan. Okay, so the first thing that I got from Marshalls, this was actually like end of summer, early fall that I bought these shoes. So I don't know if they'll have any more of them at any stores near you, but they're just these super cute espadrilles. Sorry, they're like, they've been shoved in a corner in my closet. Um, but they're just these super cute espadrilles. They're from Madden Girl. They're really comfortable and they're just like this suede material and they're a tannish color and they have these elastic ankle straps, which I think look so cute. I just, for some reason, elastic ankle straps, I feel like they make your ankles look really slim and just really cute. I don't know why, I, I love ankles. 
a little weird, but I, I like when shoes make my ankles look good. I know that might be weird, but some of you might feel the same way. Um, and these really, really do make your feet and ankles look good. And they're just really comfortable to wear and really cute for like a warmer fall day. And I love them so much. You can be wearing them in the spring too. Okay, so next we're getting into some fun Sherpa things. So the first item, oh, I didn't tell you the price of these shoes. These were like $12.99 or $13.99, something along those lines. So very affordable. Um, but this, I am obsessed with this Sherpa. It is a little bit cropped, but it has like the typical Sherpa liner inside and it has this really cute like drawstring at the bottom so you can cinch it around your waist and kind of pull your waist in a little bit if you're wearing it with jeans or something. But I absolutely love the colors of this Sherpa. I think that they're so folly and just make it that much more cozy because I love these colors. They're just nice and warm. And it was only $16.99, so not that bad for a Sherpa. And it feels pretty good quality and it's really, really soft and I just really like it. So this was another one that I bought like early summer or not early summer, but I have been to Marshalls and TJ Maxx a lot recently, probably more than what anyone would recommend, but they do still have like a ton of these at all kinds of um, Marshalls and TJ Maxx's near me, so they probably do near you as well since all of the ones around here have them, but it is just this really, really cozy, like grayish white Sherpa, and I am in love with it. I think it is so cute. I have one other Sherpa that I bought last year from Aerie, but it's not like, like that one's kind of like a twist on a Sherpa. It's a little bit thinner and it has like, it's still like the quarter zip thing, but it has snaps instead of like the zip that the typical Sherpas have. And I just feel like this is like the classic Sherpa when you think of a Sherpa pullover for the fall and winter time, this is what you think of. So I had to buy it because it wasn't a bad price for a Sherpa at all. Like I know if you get them from Altered State or something, they're like 75, 80, 90 dollars. Um, but this one was only 25, so definitely a great deal. And it is from the Thread and Supply brand, which I really love their stuff. They've just been starting to have like a ton of Thread and Supply stuff at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And I think that the brand is really good. So I'm really excited about this and it's super warm and cozy. I got a size small, I believe. Did I get a size small? What does that say? Yeah, I did get a size small and it is pretty large as you'll see in the try on. But yeah, I think that it will be super cozy and it is a little bit oversized naturally. So you can go your normal size or size up if you want to. The last thing that I bought like early fall time was this pullover that is actually from Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, I know that Abercrombie does sell a lot of like this similar style right now in their store because I was recently looking online to buy one. Um, but they do have very similar stuff right now. I'm assuming this is from last season maybe. But this was only $14.99 at Marshalls, so definitely a great deal because the ones they have um, online right now that are similar are like maybe like $65, $75 or something in that range. So definitely a great deal if you can get it for $15. And I got mine in an extra small mostly because it was the only one that they had in store. I would have probably gotten a smaller medium to be a little bit bigger and cozy, but this one does still fit and I think it would look really cute with like maybe some light blue jeans or just like some yoga pants or something to be cozy and it is really really soft and obviously good quality because Abercrombie does make really good stuff. Okay next we're getting into some sweaters and if any of you know me you know that I am obsessed with my sweaters. I would wear a sweater every single day if I could. I basically do wear a sweater almost every single day. So this first sweater you may have seen on my Instagram if you're following me over there. I will have my Instagram linked in the description box down below as well as at the beginning of this video if you want to go follow me. I'm trying to be more active. I was really active on my Instagram like over the summer and you know during the beginning of school but now life has been getting really crazy as you may know because I haven't been posting too much on YouTube lately but I'm trying to get back in the swing of things so definitely go follow me on my Instagram if you want to stay updated with me on a little bit more of like a daily weekly basis and what I was saying was you may have seen this sweater already if you follow me on my Instagram because I did wear it recently and I am obsessed with this color I think that 
like this color just defines who I am as a person like this is just everything um, this sweater is from Marshalls I believe I got it at Marshalls yeah I don't think any of this stuff is from TJ Maxx but this one is from Marshalls they might have the same thing at TJ Maxx this is the Max Studio brand which I believe they sell at Nordstrom I'm not positive um, but yeah it's just a really really good quality sweater it has a turtleneck but it's not one of the tight turtlenecks that you feel like really restricted in it is a little bit looser but still like really comfy and cozy I will say though like this is a a heavy sweater but it's not a super soft sweater it's just thick and not soft um, so I do prefer like when my sweaters are thick and soft but hey I love this color and it's just perfect for fall so I did have to buy it plus it was on sale I believe it was only like $16 maybe or $14 something like that so great price and I just love it so much okay next up I have this thin sweater from American Eagle. I also got this from Marshalls, as you may be able to tell. Um, this one was $12.99, and I was super excited whenever I found this at Marshalls because I was actually thinking about getting it last year when this was available at American Eagle, but I ended up, well, I waited until it went on sale to possibly buy it. I don't know why I didn't buy it full price because I don't think it was that expensive to begin with, but anyways. I waited for it to go on sale to buy it and then I just kept like holding off because I didn't feel like I absolutely needed it in my life at that time. And then of course it sold out in my size and it never came back so I wasn't able to buy it but I did find it at Marshalls recently and I just felt like it was a sign that I really needed this because I wanted it for so long and didn't get it and then I wasn't able to get it and then I found it so of course I had to buy it. And it is just this really nice like thin sweater it's I, I guess you would call it like a thin knit material and it just is ribbed as you can tell and it has these really really cute tortoise shell buttons at the top and I'm obsessed with tortoise shell so I like just naturally love this so much I think that it actually came in a similar like there were two styles of this there was this one and this like creamish white color and then I think there was like a brown purpley mustard and bluish like striped version and I really like that one too but I just found this plain one at Marshalls and I really love it and I cannot wait to wear it. I got mine in a size small. I don't know if they had any other sizes in this. I didn't really look but the small fits pretty well and I'm just really excited to wear it. Okay and then next up I have this sweater. This is probably like going to be one of my favorite sweaters I feel like for the fall and winter time this year. It is just this like creamish gray sweater it is really really pretty in person it kind of has like dark gray slash black like specks in the knit I don't know if you can see that but it is really cute and this sweater is super super soft it just feels amazing and I can't wait to wear it with like some black jeans and some black booties maybe like some red lipstick or something I'm just really excited to put this on and it kind of has like a pattern in the front it's just like I don't know goes in like this with the knitting so I think that is super adorable and obviously it has a turtleneck this one is well sorry I just almost knocked the tripod over um but this one is like a little bit of a tighter this one is a little bit of a tighter turtleneck wow that's a tongue twister um but this one is a little bit tighter than the orange one that I showed you previously so if you don't like to be like restricted around your neck then I wouldn't recommend this but if you want to be really cozy and just have something nestled really close to your neck then this would be a sweater for you this is the debut brand from Marshalls I think I can't remember if I found this in the women's section or the junior section but I think they had like a bunch of other colors of this like I don't know I think there was like a blue one maybe I don't remember but they definitely had a lot of these and other variations of it so definitely check out Marshalls if you want something exact or something very similar super cozy and can't wait to wear it and then the last sweater that I picked up is actually this super adorable striped sweater this is from the olive and oak brand i love this brand i always search for them at marshall's this one was also 19.99 and this one is really tight not tight this one is really cozy and such a really soft knit material like the previous one 
and I just love the color scheme of this. Typically, I don't really wear like these like berry pinkish purpley tones that much, but I think whenever it's like paired with the brown, it just looks so cute. And I'm just really excited to wear this with like some blue jeans and some little brown booties or my docks or something. I think it will look so cute. And again, this turtleneck is a little bit tighter too. I think this one almost might be tighter than the gray one that I just showed you. Um, but I am such a fan of turtlenecks. I love them so much and like stuff being around my neck doesn't really bother me, which is surprising because I have really sensitive skin. So I don't know, but I absolutely love my turtlenecks. I live for turtleneck season. So I just love this sweater so much. And I think they had a few of these at the Marshalls that I was at. And I didn't get this too long ago, maybe like, I think like two weeks ago. So you should be able to find this still at the Marshalls near you, maybe even TJ Maxx. They might have it too. Sometimes I notice they have the same things, but I will also try to find it online and link it down below. And it's just so cozy and so cute and the colors are so folly. And it's been the saying in this video, I love it so much. And last but definitely not least, I got a pair of black boots from Mark Fisher. These ones, first, let me tell you. So I have been needing new, like shorter black boots for basically like a few years now. I have one pair of black boots that are flat. Well, I have, I have two pairs of black boots that aren't like over the knee boots. I have one that is flat that I wear all the time and I just, I just don't love them too much. They have gotten really worn out because I've had them for a few years and they have like that ugly salt stain on them. If you live in Pittsburgh or anywhere that it is really snowy in the winter time, you'll know what I'm talking about. And then the other ones I have are heeled and they have like studs on the side. So not like the most wearable because the studs kind of make it a little bit edgy and I don't really want to be edgy all the time when I wear black boots. So I was in dire need of a new pair of black boots and I found these guys at a Marshalls near me and I was obsessed when I saw them first of all because they're from the brand Mark Fisher and I love like Mark Fisher shoes. I just think they are so cute and classy and when I saw these I was like wow. I really need these in my life like so badly. They have this really cute pointed toe and I'm obsessed with pointed toe shoes. I just think that they just make your feet look so good and you just feel so powerful wearing a pointy toe shoe. I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed with it. And the leather is like so soft. I don't know if it's real or vegan leather. I, I'm not sure. Um, but it is just so soft and they feel like such good quality. They do have a little bit of a block heel, but there's nothing like too unbearable. Like I'm, I'm pretty okay with walking in heels. Like I don't want to wear stilettos every day of my life, but I do like a little bit of a heel cause I'm a little bit shorter, a lot of bit shorter actually. Um, so yeah, if you are like comfortable wearing a heel, I wouldn't say like this should deter you from it or anything because they are really comfortable and sturdy, but yeah, so these feel really nice, they look really nice, they look expensive and classy, and I think the price originally, let me get the other boot out, I think the price originally was, they were marked at like $60 at Marshalls, I believe, and I was like, okay, like $60 is doable for a good pair of boots, and I really, really need a new pair, um, and then I saw, this little red tag when I opened up the box and if you shop at Marshalls or TJ Maxx frequently you will know that when you see this little red tag or the yellow tag it just makes your whole day because typically it is discounted a lot so I only ended up paying $36 for these boots which I was so happy about because I was expecting to pay like 60 for them and also I looked these are actually sold at Macy's I'm sure other places too, but I just saw the price at Macy's and they're still selling them at Macy's right now for like $125 or something like that. So getting them for 36 is such a steal. If you are in need of new black boots and you like specifically maybe want these ones from Macy's if you saw them or have been looking at similar ones that are more expensive, definitely go to Marshall's and try to find these. They were right in the front whenever I got them like a week or two ago. So yeah, definitely a must if you need a black boot or if you just want to splurge a little bit it's not splurging too much well I guess it might be because you might be expecting to pay $125 for these but you only get them for $36 I'm just so excited to wear these and I can't wait to pair them with so many outfits 
and wear them with so many of my red lipsticks. As you know me, I love my red lipstick. So I'm just really excited about these ones and I'm so glad that I found them when I did and for the price that I did. Oh, I also got, what size did I get? I got them in a seven and a half and they fit me pretty well. I would say I range, I can wear a seven sometimes and I can wear an eight sometimes, but I'm mostly a seven and a half. So I would say that they fit pretty true to size. All right guys, so that wraps up this fall clothing haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed all of the fall clothes that I bought and had to share with you. I know I have been so excited to share this with all of you, so I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it inspired you to do some fall shopping because shopping for fall clothes is just the absolute best. Um, and like I said, I will link all of the products that I can find in the description box down below or similar ones if the stuff from Marshalls, I can't find the exact ones. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you will subscribe to my channel so that you can come back and visit me in my future videos and yeah so thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video with me and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one bye